Okay, I'm in Budrim Forest Park, Sunshine Coast, and I've just climbed all the way up there. A bit tricky over the steps, but I did it. Um, this is one part of the waterfall here. So I'm going to go and investigate. And there is a top entrance to um, the other waterfall. So uh, there's lots of little children here. I can see as I come round. Um, as you can see, I haven't done this for a wee while, clambering about the rocks. So, so this is the view with the beautiful sun rays. There's a bridge right at the top. I think I'm going to try and come down the other way because I need to get back the way that I come, if that makes sense. So. so, I believe this is the Budrin waterfall, but because there hasn't been so much rain, um, I believe this is it at this moment, but I have to check and I'll come back to you on that one. There we go. And there you go for now. There's a bit more of a flow down here. And I have to get myself down and around and across the rocks and along. So um, I'll stop videoing for a minute. Okay, I got down that bit okay, which is a little relief. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little look round. Another beautiful place to visit. As you can see, all the roots of the trees just intermingling and touching one another, all joined, all connected. So I'm going to stop while I get along this next bit. I've just had a drink of the water and it's lovely and cool. I'm just looking how amazing that tree is bent all the way over there. Mm. Interesting piece of trunk here. So 
So look at that one. It begins all the way up and then it goes across and up. Just amazing. Some nice easy bits along here. Obviously it's not too bad because there's not been a lot of rain so uh, I've come here, I needed a nature walk, needed a deed of stress. Last few days have been for myself really full on. So what better than we're feeling and stressed is to come into nature. So heading on around, because when I come to, in a minute, there's a lovely walkway which is all boarded, so easy for people to get to, and this is obviously a little bit more for the hikers. So. so here we are a little bit further on. I met a guy when I first just came in and he said, um, you could hear the catbird in here. Well, for those of you that don't know, the catbird, when I first heard it, I thought it was a baby crying somewhere. But the crying was the same cry. So I was told apparently it's a catbird. Um, anyway, this guy informed me that it's green and gold. And it was down here earlier. So I've looked out for it. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, listen, I just heard it. Well, there you go. <laughs> Flip, I've been all the way up there and back and now I've just talked about him. I hope you can hear him as clearly as I can. Sounds like this too. So I'm just wondering where he is and if I can find him. That would be absolutely fantastic. So, swiftly moving on. Well, I think he's at the very top here, but I can't see it through the greenery. So I'm going to walk around a little bit more. Mind you, trying to find a bird that's green and gold in this is um, like looking for a needle in a haystack. Well, there you go. If you've not heard a catbird before, oh, I can I can see something at the top there, but.
Well, you can just see him at the very top scratching, but I'm afraid I can't. So he's obviously calling out, we're doing his mating call. Well, there you go. I'm back on the track now. Um, I've heard the catbird. I didn't get to see it, but I should look it up on Google. So if you want to see if I can make this. Um, and now I'm on a nice, easy boardwalk. Um, so for people with prams or disabled or anything, you can walk quite a, probably 100 metres, I think it is. It seems a lot longer because it's windy. But... Um, it's very beautiful in here and I'm going to head up to the top to see the waterfall from the other side. So this is part one of Budrum's forest. Mandrina forest over and out. <laughs>